Welcome to this new course about Superbase. I'm really, really excited to introduce you to my favorite product of the year. Why? Because actually Superbase is a backend as a service on one click and it really helps you to bootstrap your application really fast. So what is Superbase? As I said, it's a backend as a service. It means that you can create a project on the platform and actually you can have an authentication system that helps you to deal with all the providers such as Google, LinkedIn, uh, GitHub, whatever. And you can actually help on your front-end application to log in through those providers. But also there is a database and this database is running on Postgres. And you can create table, make relationships, triggers, everything that is around Postgres because Superbase has been built on Postgres. So they are really big fans of Postgres and everything that is available under Postgres is available on Superbase. But also with Superbase, you can have edge functions that helps you to run some application on the backend side, such as a Dino server, for instance. You can have real-time subscriptions also. Of course, there is storage. And one of the features that I like the most is that you have a documentation that generates, depending on your table, all the code that you need for your SDK on the front-end side. But we are going to see all of this in this long course about Superbase, and I really hope you're going to enjoy. So basically, when we arrive on the website of Superbase, we have some explanation of what is Superbase. You have some uh, testimonies and etc. You get some code and we clearly see that it's really easy to implement really fast because you just have to install the SDK of Superbase, use the create client, and then you can use it. And there's a lot of other things. But what we want to do, we want to create a new project right away. We want to have our backend as a service under Superbase. So to start, it's totally free. Okay. It's free and up to 500 megabytes of database and one giga of file storage. So we have a, a, a big size that is available on us on the hard drive to build a project. Okay. So to bootstrap a startup, it is really ideal. That's the best. You have also two gigabytes of bandwidth, etc., etc., 50,000 monthly active users, etc., etc. If you want to go pro, on pro, you have a bigger database, of course, and you have more services for only $25 per month. Honestly, for this price, this is the best deal ever you can have because you can have un un almost unlimited, I mean, 2 million head function invocation, 100,000 month monthly active users, and this is really big, etc., etc. So to start, Superbase is free. So what we're going to do, we are going to click here on the top on start your project and we are going to create immediately our project. So when you click on sign up and you arrive on get started, there is two possibilities. You can either log in with GitHub, so it will be related to your GitHub instance. Otherwise, you can add your email and password. So what I'm going to do me, I'm going to connect with an email and a password to have a fresh instance on Superbase. Once we are logged in, we arrive on a dashboard. And on this dashboard, you can find the project, but also the organization. So you can have several projects. On the free plan, you are supposed to have maximum two projects. And one project contains a whole, uh, actually, uh, project of Superbase with everything inside. So the authentication, the database, the storage, etc., etc. You can have also several organizations. And on those organizations, of course, we understand that we can have several projects. Also, you have everything that is related to your account, the preference, the access token. You can log out, you get the API reference also. But we are not going to wait that much. We are going to click on new project because we are here to create a new project. And this is where we are going to set up everything. So I arrived here on this uh, pop-up, create a new project, and here I can select my organization. Also, what I can do is to put the name of this project. So I can put my new Superbase project, okay? And I'm supposed to have a database password, okay? 
So basically, this password should be very strong because it's supposed to be for the database. This is why they provide to you here a button generated password that you can use. And what I propose you to do is to copy paste this password somewhere, okay? So you got to keep this password, it's really, really important. Also, there is the region, so here we got to create actually an instance, and on this instance we have several regions, several servers that we can check. I'm going to stay on North Virginia, and down there you have the pricing plan, and that's what we saw before. You can choose the pro or you can stay on the free. So for this demonstration, I'm going to take a free plan, even if on my own instance I got a pro plan. Here we can work with a free plan to show what is exactly Superbase. And there we go, my project has been created. So we see here that it's setting up the project on the server. Once it will be done, we will get access to all the features of Superbase that are here on the left. So we can already see that we have a table editor. So we will see that just after the SQL editor. So there is an SQL editor there, a database, an authentication uh, system, the storage, the edge functions, the reports, the logs, the API docs. And down there we got the project settings. Here on this page, what we've got, we've got a link directly to documentation there. So if I open the documentation here, I arrive on everything that is related to Superbase and how to use it. And this doc, guys, is brand new thanks to the Superbase team. It's a really, really nice doc and it's really efficient at the same time. So you got guides if you want to integrate Superbase with React, Next.js, Flutter, because Superbase works a lot with Flutter, Vue, SolidJS, SvelteKit, etc., etc. You get also documentation on database, hot, storage, real-time. So Superbase thought about everything. They are making a product for people who don't want necessarily to create a backend or work on it, on just having uh, the skills to do it. So they designed and they wrote a very nice documentation that goes straight to the point. So if you want to have more information next to my courses, you can click, for instance, on here on database. And down there, you get a lot of examples of the tables that we are going to see after on how to use the database. If you want to go to hot, it's exactly the same. You even have videos. And here there is the CTO Ant Wilson that is talking to you about auth. Here we see that we can log in with email, magic link, phone, social login, etc., etc. OK, there is a lot of documentation like this. We can come back to it later. And there we go. Back on the project, we see that we have an analytics part on the database request on the authentication storage and stuff. So there is also inside the product uh, uh, an analytics part that is very interesting to have an overview every day on your product, if it is working or not, etc., etc. If you are using different client libraries, you also have guides about it on JavaScript, Python, or Flutter, of course. Everything here is um, really clear to handle. And if I go on table editor, we can see here that we can create tables. That's what we're going to see in the next lesson. There is an SQL editor. But of course, Superbase know that not everybody knows how to uh, work with SQL. So they build a very smart system for me. That is a script system that helps you to actually create a script um, with a starter, actually. This is the starters that you can use if you want to have a script on show extensions, an incremental uh, field value, uh, to add a column, of course. Uh, and there is even a user management starter that is very, very useful and that maybe most of you will use because if you don't know Postgres and if you don't know how to write SQL, um, you will maybe have some trouble to deal with uh, creating a user management system. You can just click on this and there we go. It creates for you in the SQL editor <laughs> all the commands to create your table's profile. <laughs> and also it's creating... Uh, with the role level security, and we are going to come back on this later. It's creating all the policies that are uh, locking uh, the access uh, of your database. 
if you want that uh, your tables are not public, you can use policies that are there. Otherwise, if you want them uh, to be available for people that are authenticated, everything has been thought to uh, make your life easier. Okay. Uh, also, you get the uh, database here tab when you can access tables, triggers, function, extensions, etc., etc. You get the authentication system that we are going to see also with all the providers. And look, with Superbase, you can offer to your clients to log in with Bitbucket, Discord, Facebook, GitLab. Um, there's a lot of options there. There are also email templatings that helps you to deal with somebody is going to sign up or if you are going to invite a user because we can invite people, a magic link that helps us to log in without a password. That is amazing. The change email address, the reset password. You can go to storage and on storage here, it's all about the assets, image, documents, whatever. And there is also the edge functions. There is the reports because there, you can create reports about your backend. You got the logs and of course the logs for an API, it's really, really important. And finally, you got the API documentation that here it is going to generate for you all the code related to your tables. You understood Superbase is a complete product that is amazing. I could talk during hours about it. Uh, it will help us to bootstrap a product this backend as a service will save us a lot of time.